We know Bitcoin's going up, but what about ETH? We're going to tell you, and we're going to do it in the most unique way possible. Welcome to an exhilarating cosmic journey where ancient wisdom meets modern technology. In this video, we're going to unveil mystical secrets of GAN, astrology, and tarot cards as we unlock the hidden potential to help you trade crypto. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed. We are going to have tarot cards coming out of a shuffled deck. So a random selection of tarot cards that are going to be read by our expert, Toby. All right? Toby's going to read the cards. I'm going to talk about crypto. We'll go back and forth. And at the end, you're going to have a read on ETH versus Bitcoin. So don't go anywhere. Toby, take it away. Very cool. Okay, so ask the question in a very specific manner. I think you were talking about in the next couple of months, just so we can get an energy on that. Over the next month, can Ethereum outperform Bitcoin on the upside? Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. So the first card we're going to draw is about the energy of the moment surrounding Ethereum. We have King of Pentacles. This is a fairly conservative card, um, although Pentacles is a money card, so that's always a good sign. We're talking about a coin. Um, he represents literally the, the epitome of that energy, the money, the earth energy. So it's at its highest point that it can it can reach. Um, that could mean now it might be at its highest point that it can reach. So let's look at the energy that's crossing. Oh, this is, I show it up here. It's not a happy card. So there is a lot of worry and nervousness. This card literally has the interpretation of being the energy that keeps you awake in the middle of the night. There's a lot of concern about what's going on right now in this moment. Um, let's so with this, if Ethereum could be near peaking, remember that Shanghai upgrade coming up and worry and sleepless nights, that could be regulation, that could be Shanghai. And if you get this reading so far, it's kind of in favor of the Bitcoin maxis. Will it continue? Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're going to the energy that we're moving out of. So this is a really interesting card because the, the energy of this card is you have two choices. Um, she's basing her decision on not really looking at things. How this card is traditionally interpreted, at least for me, is um, a sign of using a little bit of your intuition because both choices are good. This is the energy that we're moving out of. So perhaps Ethereum and Bitcoin in the past have been equal choices and you didn't really have to think about it very much, but now you do because this is where we are now. Okay. And then we'll go to the future. Oh, this is not looking very good for the Ethereum. This could be the regulation, all the binding that you've been talking about she is very trapped or she feels she's very trapped in this moment and not able to move okay so let's pull them all forward here we've got a lot of sword cards surrounding the earth card which deals with money sword cards always represent an energy of let me move it over here so you can see there we go now you can see all the four cards um Sword cards are an air energy which deals with um, what you're thinking. So all of these cards are about being caught up in making decisions, being worried about your decisions, being trapped in this energy here. And this is what's coming up in the future. So we want to pay really close attention to that. You can see she's bound. As you said, you were talking about the regulation. I would suggest that is looking very, very likely. Okay, a couple takeaways. Remember back in 2017 when Bitcoin would rally, altcoins could suffer. So if you're looking for altcoin to altcoins to follow Bitcoin based on this work, not investment advice, think again. Sleepless nights for Ethereum. Bitcoin, the monster. I'm Bill Noble. We'll see you next time.